Hello everyone, this is Kim Miyazaki, and today I'm going to show you how to install Tron 2.0 into your game. So to install Tron 2.0, nothing is very fancy fancy. So if you had watched the Man of the Hour stars Tron 2.0, oh nostalgia hit me again. What you want to do is you want to go to the link that I had put into the description down below on that, on that specific video, and then you want to go to downloads. When you go to downloads, you want to go to file. When you click file, you'll be to a new tab. The new tab will be called Ad Fly. If you have Ad Blocker, you won't see ads around here. So just good because Ad Blocker is a good, you know, server. I mean, it's a good thing. So once you skip the ad, wait till the mega um, circle thing goes up. And once it does that. You don't want to click your download with Mega Sync or import to your cloud drive, which of course I have one, not signed in yet, or download through your browser. Now, either one is fine, it doesn't matter which one is it. I even have something else that may help for those who are still confused about this. And, if I can find it. Hmm. That's good right there. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's some good soda. Nice, cool, refreshing. Everything you always want. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, anyways, out with that, M the new. Once you download through your browser, you want to um. Oops, okay. Once you download with your browser, you be activated to Renroar. You download Renroar and you you know download it through your browser when you do that you will be automatically I mean that the RENRAR will automatically be be downloaded then it will ask for a password when you go to password you want to go back to this website click password and you want to copy this right here which is www.newgamesbox.com when you paste it on there they will automatically go to whichever file save file that you have located to be a desktop, your Windows Explorer, the mad which one. Next up you'll see the power the it will be inside C D ROM and to convert that C D ROM you have to go to get yeah, download the power the power ISO. That link will also be down and do the description below. When you do that your oh and it's good Windows 10 as well so that's good. You want to download whichever bit you have, you download it. Alright, same thing. It helps. Then you want to go to Power ISO. Record the say enter registration code, but then you have one that's continued unregistered. Click that. Once you do that, you want to click open. When you click open, you want to select the game that you had saved the file as. Once you do that, you want to press is it going to press extract when you press extract it's going to tell you where to put it at once that happens you want to put it in the desktop and once you do you will get this symbol when you click on it first thing they do is that they will not show this what I'm what I'm showing you now this is going to show you the installation wizard um bar when you completed the the um the wizard bar, I mean the wizard bar, you click on launch Tron 2.0 and then you'll be here with this. Play, display, options, uninstall, help quit, you go to website and to the Tron 2.0 dungeon Tron 20.net or also to a different website. That is basically the basics of oh wait and I did forgot how to do it oh my goodness okay ah, i'm so stupid oh why oh the horror the pain the burden why all right oh 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 all right so once you you know once you download the uh the power ios you want to continue unregistered never never click the other thing because i mean it's Really ain't gonna help. So um try to move it ahead from my face. 
course, if I can. But you know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. I'm going to do this. Boop. Okay, so now once you do that, you're going to um now wait, oh my god. It hurts a lot, yeah. Like it really does. Yes, I'm using the OBS. So after you finish, you know, um, so then you want to click on open and then you want to find your disk image. When you do that, you're going to click on extract, extract to where? The desktop or whatnot. Now, right when you hit the desktop, that's when you want to put it into your, well, no, that's when you really want to put it on your desktop. <coughs> Excuse me, period. To do that. Here. And click the desktop. That should be it. Well, you have no idea how many, how many times I have to actually do these kind of things. Oof, you have no idea. And then after that, you just install. There you go. I hope this actually was more informative. If it is, give that give remember to subscribe, hit that like button. Um and stay awesome. Bye bye.